Hey everybody, I'm Crow. Welcome back to Dark Souls 2, Scholar of the First Sin. I believe our last bit of business in this final stretch of the normal base game, outside of the DLCs, is to come into here, in the Shrine of Amana, where the Dragon Rider was, and to collect the soul of King Vendrick. As well as, in the chest up over yonder, His equipment. So we could totally do it. I think it's equipment's a little on the heavier side, though. Yeah, 12 pounds. I don't want to wear anything that heavy. I'm basically just wearing this so that we're not, like, pretty much naked anyway. I kind of like the looks of it. See, like, the astrologist robes, they look so comfy. They're like pajamas. So that's how I kind of justify wearing that. Anyway. Anyway, in this room with the rotted, or the bonfire afterwards, where we first ran into uh, Aldi, I believe... These things are what take you to the DLC. And this is the poison one. There's a poison DLC, a fire DLC, and an ice DLC. This is say that fire and ice are cooler than poison. Though we do use more than that. I wish ice was an actual element in this game. And not just, like, uh, basically sorcery damage. What a nice looking door. I don't think it would open like that. And this place is all kinds of twists turned upside down. It's not that this area... I don't know. They, they made the DLCs a lot harder than the base game, but it's not like it's inherently a bad area. I mean, it looks nice. But some of the giant dinosaur-esque things we're going to run into later... Kind of like the boss fights... I mean, when you walk in here, that area down there, those things suck. And who we fight right before we get out there sucks. But coming in here and seeing this temple and stuff is cool, and the other surrounding areas, it's not like it's not, it's not like it's not pleasing to see. Eh. You even get to see the final boss right when you enter the area. Which is pretty spiffy. That's Sin. The Slumbering Dragon. Pretty sure it was slumbering. Unfortunately, these are PvP hotspots. Though I think I leveled us up enough to the point where we shouldn't really get invaded, which I consider a bonus because I don't really like PvP in these games. Old Growth Bomb. That's a shortcut to get back up here. And the DLC starts. After we rest so that we actually get our stuff back. Everything in the DLCs are bullet sponges, and everything in this one is pretty much immune to poison arrows. Except for some people inside that temple later. Nope. Hmm, I wonder how... I, honestly, as I've said before, the other run that I did, I predominantly used fire arrows for everything. So I don't actually know how lightning arrows hold up. But it's looking pretty good. Roll arrow. We will, of course... Oh, isn't there a bug? Handle as many of these from afar as we can. Because we're snipers, and we need to act like it. I'm surviving that final arrow is unfortunate. Oh, I missed. Ah, oh, we're messing. I don't want to hit that thing yet. Could you stop moving? Does not take much in the way of damage. Even with an ultra great sword, you can you have to whack them quite a bit to get them to actually die. Wait a minute, I can hit this from here? I can hit that from here too. What? If you have a bow, you can just cut across here? I never noticed that. Well. Do we really need to go up that way? I don't think we do. Honestly, we have the bow we're going to use for the rest of the game fully upgraded. Even headshots aren't staggering them. Look at all the arrows in that guy's forehead. I think we're just going to get the bare necessities. 
The simple bare necessities. Poison blight ring plus one. Bite. I think I said blight. But it is even better poison resist ring. I don't know that there's a plus two. There might be. I'm pretty sure they added plus three rings for the elemental resistances as well. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll shoot that. Unfortunately, I don't think that actually knocks them off the ledges. It just does a lot of damage and knocks them back. I do think that's a cool mechanic. I like these things. I like shooting them and bringing the things up or lowering them down. It's not like it's all bad or anything. They're just particularly pains in the backside. And all of this stuff that destroys your gear. It doesn't die in one arrow. Golden Fruit Bomb. I kind of remembered it. Oh, you know what? I was probably using the Dragon Rider bow. In the last run, I used a bunch of different bows and just kind of alternated depending upon the element. But in this one, we're kind of just using the 100 Black Bow. I guess more of a penalty I self-imposed because... I don't know, actually, it's a pretty good bow. I don't know if it counts as much of a penalty. That hurt. I didn't want to roll through one of those. Dragon, Butter Rose, Dragon Rider bows are bad at getting poison off on things. And I tended to use them for that, too, as well. So I was basically just using the bow wrong. But a Dragon Rider bow that's magically enchanted and shooting magic arrows, it's pretty satisfying the amount of, like, magical damage you can kick out. Ah, there it is. It's always nice to see all the- what? All the different things you can snipe around here that I never even noticed. I imagine you could skip a lot of this city. I will at least try to get all the bonfires. Oh, that was almost a short drop. Because I do like to have that completed at least. Can I not shoot this from here? Oh, that's kind of dumb. This doesn't need to be raised. But I'm going to do it anyway. And then you take shots when you're running after me? Cool. It's a deal. No, no, put your shield down. Oh. It was deliberate. I mean, with a shortcut like that, it doesn't even really matter. You just have to run past everything instead of actually fighting it. Oh. What was the reason for coming up here again? Oh, right. You have to go up there to hit that thing, but because I have a bow, I didn't actually need to. We'll break through these and jump down here. Eventually, they'll stop following us, I think, I hope. Oh no, bug things. Ah, uh, yeah, they're gross. Oh, you, uh, you guys, uh, you didn't stop following me. Elizabeth mushrooms, yay! I need to get out of here. Oh, how nice of you to break that. Jump! Ah, uh, that thing's alive. Throwing knives. Oh, but it's not hostile. It's just shooting me in every direction. There's people over there. I don't want to fight that. Definitely dodging that. And there's lots of things that we need to shoot now. I think it's pretty cool that you can actually see up there. You're really going to fight me? I never asked for this. I also never played that game, but I watched my friend play it. It was funny. You drop like 10 feet and it breaks your ankles and you just die. The shortest falls ever just kill you. But from up here, we're going to shoot that. Score. And that's going to raise that up. We shoot that. And then we shoot that. And then we shoot that. This also gives us more cover. But I don't believe that's all of them. There should be one more, I think. Yeah, because this one still needs to go up. Ah, they're going to attack me. Oh, it's a talisman. Hmm, maybe not. 
I don't know, but I'm getting on the ladder. Okay. Uh, maybe it was enough. Was this all of them? Was actually all of them. Okay. Where was the one that raised that one, then? Oh, there it is. I forgot that was down there. You guys wouldn't actually come up here, would you? No, okay. Was there a reason to do that? If there was, I don't see it. There's nothing on top, whatever. Maybe it's just more co- are you kidding me? You know, I don't normally fall to my death. Not here, anyway. Definitely not this often. But had I made it two steps further, there's a bonfire here. I think there's five bonfires in this DLC. Let me just go ahead and waste human effigy since I'm probably going to fall to my death anyway. But I don't like looking green. So we hit the bonfire here, and then we head back. Because there is yet more stuff for us to go. There is a, another bonfire over there. Which I don't think we can see from here. Oh. Thunder Quartz Ring plus three. I usually skip that. That's cool. Wasn't that one like 150? Yeah, this is 50, 100, 150. That's crazy, so we got the best lightning ring in the game. Nice. Oh, I wonder if there's somebody around this corner. Oh, thank you, Arrow. You stopped on nothing just to help me out, huh? Nope, because I know I can't just walk backwards to dodge you. If you guys would jump off the edge more, I would appreciate that. Unfortunately, I don't have great arrows, and you're not very cooperative. Boop. Hmm, there was actually one on that lower level, too. I don't imagine... I don't know. If I miss one of the elemental resistance rings, I'll, I'll look up where they are. I'm pretty sure the fire one's actually in the fire DLC, though. That might be the only one here. I don't know. The dark one might be here as well. But I imagine the sorcery one is actually in the sorcery area. Area. Twinkling tight night. We're going to get a bit higher on the situation. And try and snipe some of these guys out. And when I clear this area out, I'll show you guys how to get other stuff around here. Anyhow, that's most of the stuff dead around here. So if you look over there... You know what? I never thought about it, but I think a firebomb could probably break those, couldn't it? I usually just shot in between them, and it was a little bit of a pain. But if you throw firebombs... Wow, it actually does break them. Okay, so that makes that a lot easier. You shoot the invisible wall still? There you go. You shoot that thing over there. And then this thing pops out. Which gives you five torches. Which is inconsequential. Compared to what's over there. Having to take three arrows to kill these things is annoying. You can't hurt them unless you hit their lower areas. So as far as I know, they're really bow-only enemies. Unless you use, like, Firestorm or something. Or Fire Tempest or whatever, which one of those it was. Area stuff. Notched Whip plus seven. Promised Walk of Peace. Just like those guys do in, uh... Dark Souls 1, I think, the Guardians of the Garden, whatever. Twinkling Titanite, and there's this tree monster, which you don't really understand, but uh, they gave you the Notched Whip for a reason, even if you don't have the proficiency to use it. Just for showing purposes. If you whip this tree, it fixes your equipment. I'm pretty sure that's what it was. It fixes your equipment or it heals you, but we didn't get healed, so I'm assuming it fixes your equipment. Either way, good things happen when you whip this thing with the spiked whip. Which, I, I, don't, I don't know about that. 
It doesn't do damage to the tree from what I can see. We didn't get a number on that. And the tree's not an enemy either. But we have gotten to the first bonfire and cleared most of this area out, I guess. Lightning ring will come in handy. All elemental rings get used at some point or another. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you liked it. Later, everybody.